so hi guys uh, <clears throat> here in this video I'm not going to talk about the material I'm not going to talk about whether the paper is tough or easy but I must tell you that this paper can be answered only by those students who really have a tremendous in deep clarity about the subject of audit but you know what all these questions are straight questions from ICS study material yes they are straight questions from ICS study material these sentences exactly you can find in ICS study material first question obviously since our material is also purely prepared based from IC material you can expect all these questions okay have a reference to our materials as well so here here I'm not talking great about the material but most important thing is about is what you know it's not the material but it's a matter how in depth you understand the subject that is what being tested now like now the short notes is colorful notes is question banks again vanished like uh, this is one again important lesson that everyone has to learn everyone has to understand the focus of the Institute is a shifting gradually from testing the memory of the student to, to testing the analysis of the student this paper itself is a very big evidence you know this paper the questions asked were not tough so just a few minutes bear with me I will make you understand what they exactly asked from which chapter they exactly asked that question okay so let's start in between I'll tell you how you know like by the way if at all you're you're you are already planning for preparation for the next examination just a minute yes. yeah if you have already planned preparation of the next examination you can skip this video okay but if you want to know exactly where you did the mistake now itself so that in the next paper you will not repeat at least uh, the next one and a half day whatever revision you are doing you will be carefully doing it yeah. so first question 1a pervasive is a term which is used in the context of the misstatements if any that are detected by the auditor by obtaining sufficient they only talk about obtaining sufficient appropriate evidence full definition of pervasive you know they have not clearly explained okay you just have to give this statement false okay it's actually partly true it's actually partly true you need to give false uh, statement and uh, you need to write the definition of pervasive you just have to write the definition of pervasive so this is a question straight from audit report chapter audit findings and control deficiencies can be evaluated or assessed arbitrarily that is nothing but judgment arbitrary means what judgment so audit findings and control deficiencies they are evaluated and assessed on a judgmental basis depending upon case to case you need to talk about professional judgment you need to talk about what do you mean by professional judgment that's it so this is a question on professional judgment which is again SA 200 standard related which is nothing but in your ICA material there is a chapter called nature objective and scope of audit the first chapter so that question inappropriate management can override internal controls of any organization this is internal control systems inherent limitations question we have a question called inherent limitations right in that one of the limitation is what inappropriate management can override internal controls in any organization yes correct the statement is true this is one of the limitation in the internal control so you need to write about inherent limitation of internal control management can override the control abuse of authority by the management so that point you need to write once audit plan has been drafted and communicated it is obligatory on the auditor to follow false this is SA 300 audit plan is to be flexible and dynamic depending upon the circumstances we need to change the audit plan what are the circumstances where audit plan will be revised so there is a straight question on this in our material in all these cases in all these cases we have discussed in class but remember I'm telling you it is not about how many questions you prepare it is about the depth of the clarity you want I mean it's the depth of the clarity that you have you know how much depth you understood the subject many say audit is a theory subject we can't understand anything the problem is people think that audit is something that is something not understandable that's wrong you see my marathon audit within 18 hours so much of subject you can learn it's all about the person who is speaking about the subject it depends upon the person whom you choose as a mentor so only he can you know make your perception either this or that next carrot 2020 
uh, the auditor is required to state whether the title deeds of all immovable properties, uh, whether are they disclosed in the financials wrong. They were held in the name of the company or not. That's what auditor has to check as per CARO. Whether the title deeds related information disclosed in financials, no, that is not CARO is giving. So, this statement is a false. SA 520 deals with auditor's use of analytical procedure and as procedures near the end of the audit, that audit assistant. See, substantive procedures are not, at, not just carried at the end of the audit. They were carried at the beginning of the audit. They were carried during the audit. Even they were carried at the end of the audit. All the three stages are not just one stage. So, this answer is false. Next. Misappropriation of asset is often accompanied by false or misleading records in order to conceal the fact that the assets are missing or pledged with proper authorization. This statement is absolutely true. It's about misappropriation of asset. Detecting these kind of misappropriation is even more difficult. So, auditor has to apply little more substantive procedures here. Like that you need to write. So, this is again a straight statement. Do you have a concept of misappropriation of asset? Okay, misappropriation of goods in fact. Misappropriation of asset, initial two points you need to write, which is as per SA 240, nothing but you have a chapter called fraud. So, from that you need to write. Materiality is not a matter of size. Of course, it's not just a matter of size. It is a matter of quality as well as quantity, both. Materiality is both a qualitative term as well as a quantitative term. And you need to give two examples. Two marks questions, that's it. Many said uh, uh, these MCQ, I mean, MCQs, I don't know. But true or false questions also some students will little difficult. But I think it's not that difficult. Not many said it is difficult. Many said it is easy only. Next. Yeah, 2A. They just asked applicability of CARO. A straight question. Unpredictable question from the CARO. Because you know, nobody will think applicability question. Such a basic question will be asked. I think everyone would have written very clearly. Audit report as per my material. Next. So, uh, the auditor while carrying out audit started comparing various items of P&L of the year with the previous year financials. What auditor is trying to achieve with that comparison? They are nothing but they are asking, I mean, they are nothing but they are asking what is analytical procedure? What is analytical procedure? And what is the purpose of analytical procedure? That is a straight question, you know, four marks question. Analytical procedure, SA 520 question. Next. Uh, the auditor expressed his opinion on financials without ascertaining as to whether financials were free from material misstatements or not. So, without checking sufficient appropriate, without obtaining evidence, without checking, he expressed opinion and he is an auditor of the company. Getting it? Whether CAN has complied with the objective of audit considering applicability of relevant SA. You have to write 143 subsection 9. They said about company. It's a company law question. One of the duty of the auditor is to duty to comply with standards. As per the standards, the auditor has to obtain sufficient appropriate evidence, SA 200. Object of audit you need to write. So that and this, both together you need to write for 3 marks question. Since it is for 3 marks, 143 and point you need to write, it is compulsory for the auditor. And what is compulsory? Obtain sufficient appropriate evidence, which is compulsory. So that's it. Again, next question. Drawing power. They are asking you to calculate a drawing power. So compute drawing power. It's a straight question. You know, in your uh, bank audit chapter in ICA study material, you will have an image. That too, it is not clear image, blurred image. How bank, or bank in case of bank, drawing power will be calculated. Okay, like here, 50,000 stock is there, right? And how much is standard credit done? Uh, 15,000 rupees. So, totally, how much is the paid stock? 35,000. Out of which, for stock margin is 20%, means 7,000. Which means 28,000. And what is the debtors? 45,000. Out of which, out of which uh, some 5,000 is, oh, oh, you know, more than 3 months, which is, is equal to 40,000. In, in this 50 percent margin means 20. So, 28 plus 20 approximately some 48,000 drawing power will come. That's it. That's how the computation is. <coughs> so, this is a straight away computation. Straight away computation, I just randomly said how to solve it. You know, I didn't go in depth. So, from stock, creditors you need to reduce. On the balance amount, 20 percent you need to reduce margin. Then balance will be drawing power. Now coming to debtors, 45 minus 5, 40, out of which 50 percent you need to take off, then you will get balance debtors, that is drawing power. So stock final figure, draw, debtors final figure, total is the drawing power. Next, uh, third question. Now here they are asking, they are engaged in garments, promoters of the company, okay, they are also promoters in some other group companies. You have been appointed as auditor. 
and this company has entered into various internal company transactions during the year which are outside its normal course of business. What will be your duties as an auditor in relation to those transactions? What will be your duty? What will be your duties in relation to those transactions? It's a SEA 550 questions. Getting it? It's an SEA 550. Related party transactions performed outside the normal course of business. Try it question is there. SEA 550. Actually, in ICS study material also it is there, but it is in between somewhere you will find. But in my material, you will find in SEA 550 is direct question. And this one, section 135. What are the matters that shall be disclosed by the company regarding CSR activity? It's a question of items of financial statements. It's a question of items of financial statements. Disclosure requirements we did not cover in our material. We, info, we instructed students to read directly ICS study material for items of financials very clearly. This is, this is, this question is there in the last, last pages of items of financial statements material. Next so that's items of financials in the last pages notes additional notes side reading will be there below that this one and even binami transaction that is also there that question also came here the newly appointed auditor of btn limited want to get sufficient appropriate whether opening balances contain material misstatements that affect current period what procedures it's a straight away fight in audit procedures for opening balances those who have seen my you know audit standards book Straight question, audit procedure for opening balance, a straight question. That side reading itself is asked as a straight question. Even the relevant question, it is a straight question. Next, auditor of HK Limited is working in automated environment. Management of the company requested auditor to give an idea about any exceptions observed in IT environment and needs to be assessed. How the auditor should consider this request and report? So how to report? Findings in automated environment. Findings. There is a seventh question in my automated environment material. It's a straight question. Seventh question. Many students of mine also, they are saying, sir, paper was really easy. Or oh, not easy, sorry. Paper was not easy. But at the same time, not tough, sir. We really understood the concept. So we were able to attempt for 85, 90, 95. Some messages have already come. I already shared also the screenshots. But I'm telling, paper was actually good. But the thing is, how far you wrote, that is what important. But anyhow, since the paper is tough, valuation will be easy. I'm telling you. Even if you write moderate answer, you will get better than moderate marks. That is a, that is a, a clear assurance. Now, next. CAB. The auditor of DBF engaged in manufacturing. Okay, okay. The auditor, the while auditing, he got aware of some secrets of the company. Okay, the auditor acted in unlawful in order to deceive or gain an advantage over others, and also encouraged you know directors to do something wrong. In particular, section 147, the auditor is liable to pay damages to the public, intentional defraud. 147, subsection 2, you need to write. So it's a 147 question, company audit question again. It's a, it's a company audit question, penalty question. And here you see, the auditor of RMP has identified a fraud that causes material misstatement. Management personnel is higher management cadre and are associated with manipulation of accounts. What is manipulation of accounts? Fraudulent financial reporting. But the auditor has not been able to understand why this type of fraud is generally committed. Why fraudulent financial reporting occurs? Clear question is there in the material which is given by me. Clear straight question. Why fraudulent financial reporting is committed? Another question. How FFR is committed? So four marks question. Any four points if you read, you'll get marks. Next up. SPR limited is into media business. Uh, media means some advertising. Okay. During the financial year, Many notices were received by the company for hurting public sentiments and financial claims were filed against the company. As an auditor, you requested the management for arranging the meeting with the company's external legal counsel. External legal counsel immediately SA 501 claims and litigations procedure. SA 501 question claims and litigations. Management is of your view that such meetings are necessary in some circumstances only. So management said, sorry auditor. Only in few circumstances, we will let you meet with our external auditors. List down the circumstances. If there is a significant risk or if the matter is highly judgmental or debatable. Getting it. Only external legal counsel can clarify regarding the status exactly. So there, there are some cases. It's actually one sub point, sub point in ICS study material, which is also there in SA 501. After becoming chartered accountant, you have got your first assignment as auditor of a branch of a bank. Okay. Uh, advances. 
what are the areas you will be looking for obtaining sufficient appropriate evidence for advances besides studying and evaluating other than internal controls with advances what role you will check you will check credit worthiness how you know whether how the bank is you know evaluating credit worthiness of the customer how uh, drawing power sanction limit documentation before sanctioning a loan so these points you need to write audit of advances there is a question slight question in bank audit material so that itself you can write next so while auditing docu uh, I mean, cag while auditing documented all the papers okay he retained some of the documents of the company which is wrong on which he has not worked along on his has not worked along with the documents which were his working paper saying as he was the auditor of the company so he has the right to retain all documents as he may require them for future reference whatever workings you did you can you are retaining company workings company papers that is not permitted company books of account some statements is there take xerox if you want you can't take that company moreover here you can write 128 books and papers definition includes every document maintained by the company and all the books and papers must be kept at the registered office of the company further as per i say 230 and sqc whatever workings the auditor has performed that workings can be documented and with respect to the company related documents auditor can take the extract thereof copies thereof and then document so here the auditor is wrong on his part claiming that he is the auditor and demanding the papers belonging to the company which are part of books and papers definition of the company act which have to be kept at the registered office of the company so you can give that reference also 128 reference also proceedings have been initiated against false limited for holding Mirami property okay but such property is not recorded in books of accounts as a consultant to the company what will be your advice to the company with regard to disclosure requirements so this is again items of financial statements question items of financial statements question which is covered in ICA study material okay items of financial statements chapter at last there are some three or four additional notes given in that CSR is given binami transactions point is also given actually this 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 CSR question and this binami transaction question is something unexpected logically speaking unexpected even I never expected that a question can come from this area so in this paper this question and CSR activity these two questions are something that surprised me that surprises me a lot next the approach to audit and extent of checking are undergoing a progressive change in favor of more attention towards questions of principle and control with a curtailment of non-consequential rodil checking discuss it is nothing but sampling intro topic they asked sampling intro in my material you go to sampling chapter you have a question called question number i think three extent of checking what are the factors so in that introduction i have given the extent of checking is a matter of professional judgment what to be checked when to be checked nothing has been statutorily stated so that matter it's actually a sampling question many don't even realize that say a 530 question it's a 530 question here here people may confuse writing non-routine transactions point in documentation chapter in documentation chapter there is a point called non-routine transaction that they may write that, that's actually not correct so this is a 530 sampling question next watch this video at the end of the video i want to give some disclaimer one small disclaimer next up what are the special points to be considered while auditing transactions of treatment hospital so there is a hospital some transactions how to do audit they have given some story you can write relevant points from audit of hospitals that you studied in audit of different types of entities so it's a different types of entities different types of entities next 6a Ah, this is one point I think this is one point where oh my god sorry just a minute what happened yes so this is one question I don't know how many students have figured it out how many have figured I don't know this is a question on SA 701 key audit matter to best of my knowledge even my students also they might have wrote about SA 706 if at all you wrote both the points that's okay very much but if you only wrote about SA 706 might be wrong okay anyhow we'll wait for such an answer but it's actually SA 701 question you see, D Limited is a company engaged in business magazines. 
is a statutory order of the company P. The company takes PPE, property something, in a barter deal means exchange transaction from real estate customer against publication of their advertisement. The properties obtained through such barter deals have been considered in the books of accounts on the basis of possession letter only and have been included in PP in the financial statements. Considering this matter of such importance, considering this matter is of such importance that is fundamental for the user to understand, CAP has decided to communicate the same in his report. CAP seeks your guidance in reporting this matter in the auditor's report. Actually looking, SA 701 is also actually coming but SA 706, see here no. In the financial statements, if this PP related thing is highlighted in the financial statements, if they have given that clue, I can write about SA 706 directly. But, but, since highlighting in the financial statements point is not given, maybe it is not about SA 706 but about SA 701. But as a safer side, what we can do, you know, two points we can write. So, this is a key audit matter because the auditor felt it is under important for the user's understanding. Yeah, yeah, sorry, one small, one small, small observation. Fundamental for user's understanding. This is a very important keyword. This is a very important keyword. Fundamental for user's understanding. What is it? Fundamental for user's understanding. This word is not used anywhere in the key audit matter. This is not used anywhere in the key audit matter. So, this matter is of such important which is fundamental for user understanding means straight away. I think, I think, I think whatever the student assumed, SA 706 is absolutely correct. SA 706 is absolutely correct. But, as a safer side, as a safer side, since highlighting in the financial statements, auditor want to draw it attention of the users, any clue has not been given. Only this word is given as a clue. Maybe 701 alternative answer institute may take. So, in such a case, even if you write 701 also, it would have been a safer side for you. So, 706 plus 701, both you need to refer. If, it, if you refer both, you are mostly in the safe zone. If you did not refer 701, you did not worry. 99% I am sure, SA 706 itself will be right. Fundamental for users understanding, this is a very key word to identify. Next. Internal audit not only analyzes effectiveness with which internal controls of the company is operating but also improves the effectiveness of internal control. Evaluate, elucidate the statement. Internal audit will help the company to improve the efficiency, internal controls, effectiveness of internal control. Uh, you need to write advantages of internal audit. You need to write the benefits of internal audit, nothing but. Or you need, you can write purpose of internal audit, object, definition of internal audit is the right, that you can write. So this is actually a company audit question. Uh, I, I can say rather company audit, no, no, risk assessment and internal control question. What is it? Risk assessment and internal control question. In that internal audit topic is it? That question. Uh, when the auditor's opinion shall not refer to corresponding figures except in specified circumstances, a straight question under 710. It's a straight question under 710. Actually, 710 question is not supposed to be asked at CA either. What to do? Institute have tested it. But I am telling you, 710, whatever, all this you can understand only if you understand audit report concept thoroughly. Even this question, mostly I don't even think how many students figured out SA 706. 99% I am sure whoever have taken classes with us or watched my marathon at least would have definitely figured out it's a 706 or 701 question. Okay. You see reporting requirement they ask. Actually it's a question at final level. Logically speaking, I need to agree, it's a little bit difficult question. But anyhow, at CA Inter itself, in audit, we started teaching, considering the report. Okay, we explain in class the audit report, how audit report shall be prepared, all that. So, when auditors shall not refer to, uh, you know, corresponding figures. So, that question they have asked. When the company is working in automated environment, it is not necessary for the auditor to understand. It's wrong and depends upon professional judgment as to whether gaining knowledge. So, so do you agree with the statement? I won't agree. Understanding the IT environment is compulsory. The understanding includes the following. Right about understanding of the IT environment, there is a straight question. So, what are all you need to understand? What is the interface they are using? What is the system they are using? What is the OS they are using? What is the ERP they are using? And auditor has to document whatever his understanding is. So, there is a question, what are the points auditor shall understand? Next. So, 
the accountant observed that an amount received from Mr. A has been recorded in Mr. P account. The trial balance will tally. No problem. This mistake was found at the time of tallying the account statement. Okay, while tallying the account statements of accounts, then they found this mistake. Okay, what type of error is this? Non-self-revealing error. What is it? This error is non-self-revealing error. Can you give two more examples? Accounting principle related example you can give. Capital expenditure being treated as revenue expenditure. These are all non-self-revealing errors. Only when you do some work, you can identify that there is an error. So, I think with this paper has been done. So, actually, logically speaking, the paper is not tough. But I don't want to say that it is easy as well. This paper can be easily written at least for, I don't know about MCQ part. Students are giving mixed opinion on MCQ part. Okay. So, those of you who are really conceptually very well, and who have solved ICI MCQ booklet perfectly, after getting conceptual clarity, you need to solve ICI MCQ booklet. And who have read at least a reasonable standard material. My material is of absolutely a reasonable standard. You know, it is not easy. But it is not tough also. Like ICI material. It is a reasonable standard. Who read that material properly and solved ICI material, ICI MCQ book, they can easily score 55 plus marks in this paper. They can definitely attempt 55 plus in this paper. I mean, sorry. They can attempt for more than 85 to 90 marks easily. And they can easily score 55 plus for sure. Because these are true or false question, 14 out of 14 you can get easily. Honestly. And MCQs also, to best of my knowledge, if you are conceptually really well, you can easily score, usually easily score some 25. And MCQs you are scoring 35. And entire descriptive paper you can easily score at least 20 marks. This is a strategy I am trying to tell to the students from long ago, even in my class. In audit, at CA Inter, you are having a beautiful advantage. You also get 14 marks of true or false questions. So, be conceptually strong. What is conceptually strong? Not understanding sentence, but understanding the concept. Here, whether emphasis of matter paragraph to be used or not. Getting it? The striking point, yes, emphasis, some matter is there. In the audit report, there is a parallel emphasis. That striking point you should get right. And here also, there is a question here. Comparison of PP and L account. It's an analytical procedure. Those who study directly audit from various question banks, they don't answer all this. Those who really mucked up the subject, they could not answer this paper. For them only, it was very tough. For those who really understood the subject, this audit paper is very conceptual paper and they can easily score 50 plus. Even if they write moderate answers. It may not be 100% correct answer, but even if they write moderate answer, they can definitely score well. So, that's my view on the today's audit paper. So, if you want me to rate this paper on a scale of, on a scale of, or else low, medium, hard, I can say it is medium. It's not easy or it's not hard, it's actually medium. It is mostly analytical. The paper is mostly analytical. Rather than asking you straight question from the book, they picked out some point in the particular concept and, uh, you know, given that point as a statement and asked you to comment. That's it. So, if at all, if at all you are thinking to prepare for November attempt also from question banks and short materials, shortcut materials, fast track materials, flowchart materials, you are absolutely taking risk. Ignore all that. Take either ICA study material or take some faculties material which is of high standard. That's it. This is the mantra. In the recent my CA final also, I, I do take CA final audit. For them also, I told the same. Okay. If you are looking for shortcut materials, only when the paper is very easy or easy, you can write well. If the paper is like this medium or hard, you cannot write at all based on those materials. Prepare for the first. You can face the exam very easily. That's it. So, I hope um, I have given you some idea about today's audit paper. All the very best. If at all you did mistake, nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. Do as many mistakes as possible when you are in education. Once you move out of the education, you will never have the opportunity to learn as much as, with as much as desire that you have learned, that you want to learn today. So, this is your best time. If you, do a, if you did a mistake, it's okay. Accept it and immediately change over your mind and start preparing well for the next time. That's it. All the very best.